With Ukraine warning that Russia is massing troops on the border in preparation for a new offense, uh, Russia struck an apartment building overnight in Krematorsk, right where families were at home sheltering. The strike killing at least three people, wounding 20 others, according to police. The city council calling the attack horrifying. Joining me now is Democratic Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy, who's on foreign relations and appropriations. Again, another strike on a civilian target. Senator? Yeah, this is a deliberate strategy that the Russians have now been employing for most of this conflict. The reason is they cannot make up significant ground along the front lines of the fight in eastern and southern Ukraine. And so they are trying to scare the Ukrainian people into uh, a peace settlement that will give Russia big portions of the country. It's backfiring. Uh, it's not working. Uh, the Ukrainian people are more committed than ever to sticking out this war. These scenes I think just hardened the uh, resistance to Russia and hardened the opinions in the United States to continue to support Ukraine. I, I guess the question I have is why aren't more countries that are sitting on the sidelines uh, or supporting Russia watching these images and realizing the damage that accrues to all of us when uh, these norms of behavior in war are shattered? by Russia. Uh, there's a lot of countries that have just sat out this war. These images should get them in. Does this make the case for F-16s? Well, I think we've been, you know, nimble throughout uh, in trying to provide the Ukrainians what they need in order to bring the fight to the Russians. I think there's still, you know, outstanding questions as to how effective the F-16s could be and how much of a distraction that could be, the training necessary to get up and operating the F-16s from other endeavors the Ukrainians have to be working on. We also have to be cognizant of the fact that a lot of our other partners around the world want F-16s. We need F-16s. So, you know, we're getting to the point where obviously we want to get Ukraine everything they need, but we can't deplete our own stocks. We can't put our own security at risk here. That's got to be an underlying conversation. The Ukrainian defense minister is saying that Russia is going to attempt a new offensive near the anniversary of the war, which is February 24th. What else should the U.S. be doing? Well, I think the United States has, you know, continued to give Ukraine um, what it needs. These tanks are, you know, going to be game changers. Uh, frankly, I think the German tanks, the Leopards, are in many ways going to be more effective than will be the Abrams. And so what we need to do is to continue to push our partners who have um, artillery, ammunition, uh, and um, uh, tank capacity that the United States doesn't have. Breakthrough, Germany deciding to send these tanks. Uh, I think that should they do more of this or should other countries that have uh, that kind of technology send it to Ukraine? It'll be part of what not only allows them to repulse this Russian advancement, but also make gains themselves. Remember, Russia is you know, not necessarily able to make gains while protecting its existing line of defense. And so there might be opportunities in a Russian offensive if Ukraine has the kind of artillery and armor um, that we're getting them right now. Senator Chris Murphy, thank you as always.